In this video, I'm going to show you the best place in Canada to buy Bitcoin and the ones you should avoid altogether. I'm Darren. I've wasted a lot of my time in sanity helping fellow Canadians understand Bitcoin. I'm going to show you the ones you should avoid altogether. The ones that work, but be very careful with my old favorite and the number one place in Canada, you should be buying Bitcoin. For exchanges, I do not recommend. These are non-Canadian exchanges, whether they are global or based in another country like your Binance, your FTX, your Gemini, your Coinbase. You want to avoid these ones because as a Canadian, it's hard for you to sign up. You have to give a lot of your details. They're not really going to talk well with your Canadian banks. You're going to have to wire or EFT funds, which can take multiple business days for your money to arrive. So there's other exchanges in Canada that are just less of a headache. These are the ones that will work, but I definitely say avoid them if you can. They are built in Canada for Canadians, so they're going to work well with your bank, your sign up process. The problem is they trade a lot of tokens or crypto that aren't Bitcoin. Now I've spoken a lot about why I'm grossed out of anything that's not Bitcoin, whether it's easy to attack, they have a central authority that can shut them down, change their protocol, they have lack of liquidity, there's no firm amount leading to inflation of their token. What you gotta know is regulators and governments more and more are seeing these as unregulated securities and are breathing down the necks of exchanges that sell these tokens. This comes with a lot of legal risk for these exchanges. We have seen the Ontario Securities Commission limit who can buy and sell these crypto coins. They require more intrusive information to use their app. So you're going to have to be given the source of your funds, what you plan on doing with your funds, your education level, your competence level, your history in investing, what your current employment is, what your past employment is. So this comes more of a job interview every time you open these apps. So my old favorite, I've been recommending them for two years was ShakePay. They're fast, easy to use. You can e-transfer money in and out of them really quick. They've been building pretty much on Bitcoin only where you get 2% cash back on your Bitcoin. You get free Bitcoin by just opening and shaking your phone every day. But the problem is they are custodial, like all the other exchanges we've talked about to this point. Meaning when you buy Bitcoin on ShakePay, it is in the hands of them until you request to withdraw it into your own hands. Coinbase is their custodian, meaning all of ShakePay's Bitcoin that they hold is in Coinbase's hands and Coinbase is subject to a lot of these legal risks as they do sell a lot of those unregistered securities. And if anything were to happen to them, it could also happen to ShakePay. So whatever you have in their account at the moment could be taken away from you, just like we saw in the FTX scandal. Best solution for a Canadian is to choose a non-custodial exchange. This means you send them your money and they send Bitcoin directly into your own possession. I'm gonna to try to explain this better for you. There are exchanges out there called custodial exchanges that don't allow you to pull the Bitcoin off at all. And this used to be something like Well Simple, where you would go up to them, you would purchase it, and they would say, great, here's your Bitcoin, I'm gonna put it on the shelf. It's like a museum, you can look at it, but you can't take it out. And you have to walk home with nothing in your hand. A custodial exchange that allows you to withdraw are all the Canadian exchanges we talked about, ShakePay, so you're allowed to take your own Bitcoin into your own hands. And this is something the industry has really fought for, and it's good to see that all Canadian exchanges do this now. But essentially what you're doing is you're walking in there over the counter, you're sending them money, they take your Bitcoin, they put it on the shelf, but this one, they allow you to take it out. So the problem is you have to pretty much walk through a whole amusement park of DeFi, other tokens, yield farming, staking that get you along the way and try to take your Bitcoin. The best solution for you is a custodial or OTC brokerage where you walk up to them, you give them money and they send direct Bitcoin directly into your hands and you're allowed to walk away. So there's some great options out there. They're even geographically located. Bitcoin Well in Edmonton, Vancouver Bitcoin. But my number one choice is Bull Bitcoin. They are made by Canadians, have been around in some form or another since 2013. A lot of these other exchanges we talked about have only been around for a year, maybe three years. Bull Bitcoin is Bitcoin only, so you're not gonna get tripped up in all of these other tokens or have to follow all other Ontario securities laws when using their platform. They work just like the others They're where you can sign up a personal or corporate account. They only have a web app right now, so it's best to use it on a desktop, but I'm hearing rumors that they might be coming out with a actual mobile app. You can e-transfer in your funds, wire transfer in your funds. They use a Canadian bank, so your bank's gonna be talking directly to a Canadian bank, where if you used a global exchange, 
they might block a tr transaction or something like that if you're sending money to a Hong Kong bank. And there's no transaction limits like a lot of these other exchanges have had in the past. When you send them money, they send Bitcoin directly into your own possession. There's no time at all where the Bitcoin is sitting in another custodian in somebody else's possession. The negatives a beginner sees with this is you need your own wallet. But I think this is a great thing in the long term. This is how Bitcoin has been become successful. Individuals get to hold it themselves with no middleman and Bitcoin comes with the financial responsibility of holding it yourself. Not blaming anyone, not suing anyone to try to get your money back that you irresponsibly lost. If you're not comfortable with a wallet yet or new to all this, I have videos on my channel explaining the easy Bitcoin wallets for you to use. If you know how to use an app on your phone, you're gonna know how to use a wallet. They even have support that you can call and they'll help you through it. Packages you can purchase that teach you how to use a wallet. I don't really see this on any other exchange. There's so many exchanges out there and none of them even promote self-custody the way Bull Bitcoin does. When you buy that Bitcoin, it's sent directly to your wallet. Your data is not shared with a third party party custodian like a Coinbase or a BitGo in some other country in which sells data. It's a better private place to buy Bitcoin. There's no withdrawal fees or deposit fees. Again, a lot of these other exchanges will have fees when you deposit or want to withdraw because they are calling those custodians to get the Bitcoin that they hold for people. Well, Bitcoin also has other services such as bills that allow you to pay your bills with Bitcoin. So you send them Bitcoin and you can pay a credit card bill a cell phone bill, all you have to do is set them up in the system and they pay that bill for you after you send them the Bitcoin at that amount. So you can use my referral link below to get started with Bull Bitcoin. You get $10 when you make your first $100 purchase. Let me know your thoughts, what your favorite exchange is, what people should be using, your thoughts on the market, exchanges blowing up. If you need any help, please put it in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you. And uh, thanks for watching.